So there are a few key things that we need to remember while using the plugin uh, given in MOS. One of the things which is very interesting is that you know when we run a factor analysis, depending on the type of analysis extraction method that we use, or depending on the type of rotation that we use, the matrix that comes out that needs to be transferred, copied and transferred to MOS is different. So let us just look at the first thing. Let us look run a factor analysis. And I've already chosen my item. So in, in case of extraction, I'm using principal component and I'm going to use Varimax rotation. So at the moment it is none. I'm choosing Varimax. Varimax is a form of orthogonal rotation, Varimax, Quartimax, and Equimax. So I hit the button continue. Everything is already selected. I'm going to sort by size and I'm going to suppress small coefficients below 0.4, which do not make any sense in terms of meaningful loadings. So I'll just click OK. And this is my output. So you can see if you scroll down, you will see a component matrix and then you will see a rotated component matrix. Now, if you have used principal component analysis and one of the orthogonal rotations, usually we tend to use Varimax rotation. So we'll copy this and then we will take this to MOS plugins and we'll, we'll enter this in plugin matrix. So I need to specify a data file. So for which I'm going to use the same data file on which I have run a EFA. So this is the one. Okay. And here it is. The window opens up and I just need to copy my matrix from rotated component matrix. So it's very important to note. We are going, if we have used principal component analysis with Varimax rotation and Varimax rotation, like I said, is a form of orthogonal rotation. We'll copy rotated component matrix. So we'll just copy this, click on this, copy. We'll bring it here, paste it here. It says paste and I'll hit the button create diagram and I have the diagram here in front of me. Similarly, I just want all of you to note if we run a factor analysis, but if we choose, let's say it's not principal component analysis or it is principal component analysis and the rotation is different and I choose a rotation method, which is uh, what we call as oblique, direct oblumen or Promax are types of oblique rotation. Let me choose pro max i hit the button continue all things being equal i just scroll down and what we'll find now is that there is no there is nothing called as component matrix so what we have here is we have a structure matrix and we have a pattern matrix so pattern matrix is the one which we will be uh, using and uh, i just highlight it for you so pattern matrix is the one that we'll be using uh, for for uh, we'll copy this and we'll paste it in MOS. Once again, let me just erase this. So uh, let's just go back again and let's again do an analysis. I'll run factor analysis and I've chosen principal axis factoring, which is again a very common form of extraction. So we'll hit the button continue and let the rotation be either Varimax or Promax. So let it be Promax at the moment. And I hit the button OK. And as soon as I hit the button OK, you can see once again, we have the pattern matrix. So in this, we have a pattern matrix. We will not copy the factor matrix. We will not copy the structure matrix. We will only copy the pattern matrix. So pattern matrix is the one which we're going to be copying. So, but in case uh, we have used another rotation method. So let's let's take a look at this. Let's assume that I have chosen a rotation not uh, which is oblique. I have chosen Varimax. So I will hit the button continue and OK. And what I have is I have a rotated factor matrix now. So this is the one that we'll be using if we have chosen principal axis factoring with Varimax rotation. So we'll use rotated factor matrix and it is written here as well that Extraction method is principal axis factoring, rotation method, Varimax with Kaiser normalization. So we will be essentially using these. Rest of the procedure remains the same. We just go to MOS and we simply copy paste it. We go to MOS and we simply copy paste it. And we open the plugin matrix and we just copy paste this as I've 
and once we paste this we get the diagram we need to save the diagram for further analysis thank you